What took you so long to make a new album? Well, for the first part, I couldn't find a record company that thought I knew what the new music should be. And I, I suppose maybe, and I, I don't blame them, I, I guess maybe they just didn't think I knew, you know, how to use all the new computers. And, you know, and I had been keeping myself abreast of all the new instruments and, and of course, listening to all the music. So I've been knowing, you know, exactly what time it was. So I just formed my own record company. And uh, bang, we, we had tremendous success. Bow wow. Baby, tell me what you want. Baby, tell me what you need. Well, I try to stay as close to my traditional sound as I possibly can. I don't want to lose my, my audience, you know, by trying to sound too much like hip hop or too much like some of the other things that I was influenced at. You know, a lot of the, the major hip hop artists sampled a lot of my music and um, so I have been very inspired by the hip hop generation. I love the music and I love the new system of recording, but I just decided not to just go 100% in that direction, you know. My style is very noticeable because I phrase a little different from most singers and my guitar playing I don't use a pick and I, I have my own system so it's you can just about tell if you've been familiar with my with my music you'll know right away that it's me you know so those are the trademarks. Frank Zappa compared your sound with um, an ice pick to the forehead. <laughs> you agree with him? To some degree yes. It is very piercing if you understand where I'm coming from yes it, it, it's the funk is very deep you know if you can understand where it really is coming from so I would go along with that terminology yes Lord, it's a real mother for ya, yeah. make you wanna run for cover yes it will. and if you look you will discover let me hear you after Let's say in the 70s you were a little bit out of focus. Yes. What, what happened then? During those years, I was doing a lot of things I shouldn't have been doing. I, you know, I was kind of, you know, messing around with drugs and a few other things that just wasn't good for my health. And, and during that period, you know, um, the disco thing was very prominent. And uh, it, was a, <clears throat> it was kind of discouraging for, for R&B artists at that point because the music made a drastic change. I, I didn't... I didn't know how to approach it, you know, I was, jeez, man, this is just not my kind of music, you know, so, it was a difficult time. Uh, you've written songs like uh, Superman Lover, yes. Gangster of Love, yes. with, uh, let's say, uh, macho lyrics. Are you that macho yourself? I guess that's just the ego, all men have egos, you know. I would like to think that um, I am a person who would know how to satisfy a woman, if that's what you mean, of course. So um, I would certainly think that uh, being macho is kind of normal for, if you don't have that kind of appeal, then you're not really going to be that exciting on the stage. I think it's important to kind of have that ego and that attitude, you know. We have to wait that long for the next album. I promise, never again. Because you see, now that I see things clearly, it I know exactly what has to be done and what should be done. So um, I shall keep myself current. Just that it took me a while to just find out what exactly was the best thing for me to do. Johnny G is back. Johnny G is back. <laughs> yes, absolutely.
Johnny Guitar Watson om zo toch 60 te worden. De CD Bauwaal van hem ligt vanaf morgen in de winkel. En tot slot nog dit. De Braziliaanse